Hello everybody and welcome to Usurper. The game by Steve Gell, Jamie Warren and uh, Rock Cameo. All three down, listed down there. And it is an action platformer set in an eldritch Lovecraftian setting in London. And I really like it and would like to do more with it. So let's start. 1898, April 9th, 623 feet above ground, London. Ugh. I have failed. How unfortunate. I underestimated him. I have no one but myself to blame. And now, I will pay for my overconfidence this disgusting display of shape. I have to locate a usable cadaver fast. Luckily, this disposal shaft is surely to supply. Latch. Examine body. Can I... No. Okay. Ah, this should do fine. And he was a knight of the four, if I'm not mistaken. Well then. What... I remember, I... Good evening, my lucky friend. Show yourself immediately. No need to yell. If you wish to see, turn your gaze within. My name is Wartham, and you are lucky enough to be brought back to life thanks to my predicament. Wartham. Don't be afraid. I do not wish to keep you as my vessel for long. Once we are done, you can have your body back. Not long ago, you were but a mangled corpse, doomed to rot in this very cistern. Lucky for you, I was in a need for a new vessel. I died. I was fighting that mishap mage. Yes, yes. Now, I would be grateful if you could cooperate and adjust fast to our current predicament. I fixed up most of your organs and took up residence in the appropriate places. But I still have work to do if we are to survive. You'll have to follow my orders. I cannot fully control your body, but if you were to refuse, I can just shut down your organs and find a more willing vessel. I hope you understand. So, can I count on you to cooperate with me and do just that? Cooperate with Warpam. Cooperate. Refuse. Cooperate. Refuse. Cooperate. Refuse. Seriously? Well. That is unfortunate. I could have used the reflexes of the famous fourth knight, but alas, the end. <laughs> I like that. It's 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 a good answer to the long question: What happens if the main protagonist of the game just says no and doesn't want to cooperate? That happens. And sadly, we are kicked back to the main menu for that. New game. Yes. Okay, we can't skip it again. Yes, 1898. 6.3 feet above ground London. Okay. Now we splat again. Skip all dialogue. Skip and... Cooperate this time. Wonderful. Your name is Saragat. Is that correct? That's Warren, Officer Saragat, fourth knight of the Angelic Empire of Britannia to you, citizen. <laughs> I love the defiance and pride of a, in a recently reinvigorated corpse. Well, you know who I am. Now then, we must move and secure the core room of the Citadel while I regain some of my strength. Just head to the east. It's very close by. If I need something, you will hear me inside your head. Delightful. And now we can play as Surrogate. An absolutely disgusting pile of mangled corpses. Some of them appear human, but most resemble nothing not natural. Okay, let's head east. Okay, we have our role. We have our sword. And at the top left we can see uh, we have a meter. The Guard and HP meter. 
slide through holding down S and okay. Yes, slide. The crystals emit a faint glow. They appear to have some kind of liquid floating inside them. Tutorial. Roll through enemy attacks to negate their damage and regain a portion of that damage as guard. So the guard mechanic is one of the core mechanics of this game. So we roll through that and gain guard. So if we are max, we can't do really ends. Ah. Ooh. As you see, our HP drops down. I hope you noticed the changes I made to your body. What was that? I just was about to be hit. I'm sure I was hit. That is the wonderful gift our odd mix produced. I am sure you are aware how I keep my Vemar alive. Or have at least heard the rumors. The Empress explained it very well in detail. Use some kind of temporal skill to realign time, keeping the Weimar in a loop until they have fulfilled their contract. That is one way to put it. More importantly, our chance fusion produced a rather interesting ability. As long as I can focus, I can realign time and in space in short bursts, placing us out of harm's way. This is very good, but now your body has been significantly weakened. Our minds are in sync. So if you can evade your uh, uh, attacks on your own, I can focus a lot better. This will allow you to take risks, charge right through enemy attacks. So I need to provide you chances to gain focus and use that to attack attacks head on? In theory, this will let us challenge anything inside the citadel. The sooner I get rid of you the better, relying on the demeaning for night. You can dislike it as much as you want, as long as you head to the core room the right of here. So, this game is very unforgiving in terms of what uh, you have on a health pool. Oh my god. Oh yes. No, um, it was that. Yes. Blue is currently marked. So, we have our simple steel sword. A sharp sword. Base damage 27, focus cost, chance to stagger. A simple steel sword. Its simple design is a good fit for mass production, used by humans all over the citadel. And we have our stat scalings. We have, all, well, of course, stats in this RPG. And here we have our Saw Greatsword. This brutal weapon is used by the church guards, who double as the builders in the lower citadel. It will tear and rip apart most fleshy creatures. Of course, higher base damage, but also higher focus cost. So basically, focus is both our stamina and other resource. And from scaling, our sword scales a bit better with luck, but we have four quick slots. Um, can I do it? Oh, with bumpers. So we have constitution, luck, dexterity, intelligence, guard, eldritch, strength, and defense. So, constitution determines maximum health points. Stats are soft cap up 30. Okay. Constitution. Max HP. Luck determines drop rate. Also provides a small increase to critical chance. Dexterity determines dex based weapon scaling. In scale determines maximum guard points. Determines knowledge from beyond. Impossible to refund. Eldritch. I don't know what this stat will do and what it can do. And strength scaling, of course, in overall defense. We have... Oh. Interesting, I didn't know we can that. Relics, so uh, basically options. Automatically evade income if there is enough. Yes. Mathematical calculus, okay. <laughs> Very early implementation, yes. So I think this is more like uh Oh, okay. Um I wanted to zoom back. We are 
where currently? Oh, there's the core room. Power, ice. Okay, I think we are all around the center somewhere. I can sense your disdain for magic, but if you focus on it, I will be able to provide you with a shield capable of reflecting most projectiles. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Left bumper for a short shield. And you can use it while jumping. Perfect, my servant is here. Take a seat, if you will, on the throne of the navigator. I can recover your health and anchor us in time and space. So anchoring us in time and space is basically another word for saving. Save game. Yes. And we can level up. So in order to level up in this game, we have to use eth stones. And currently we have zero. And we use Vitae, which we gather from enemies and in the environment. Now we are bound to this throne. I can anchor us uh, to any other throne of this kind if you want. Our goal is now to find and kill the navigator. I barely escaped our earlier encounter and he is seriously wounded. I suspect he is recuperating somewhere safe in the citadel. I was wondering what the leader of the Vema was doing here in person. You are not known for taking a part in the fray. I planned to kill the navigator of the citadel. Without him, the citadel cannot sail to the stars. Stuck here with all of its denizens pouring out into London, the residual fog is spreading fast. So, you know how to move the citadel from here? If so, why did you not offer your help to Her Majesty? I was hoping to use the distraction your Empress provided to execute the navigator, but I run underestimated his ferocity. You are as callous as the Empress said. Had I succeeded, Her Majesty would have thanked me a thousand times. So, where is the navigator? He has most likely returned to the castle perched atop the citadel, so that he can regain his strength. However, you must be unaware that I survived, and I suggest we keep it that way until you gather enough strength to face him. Focus on gaining a footing in a small town up to the east. If we subdue the lord of that place, we, gain, we can gain assistance. We might also find uh, your azure flame. I assume the mage who killed you took it. Talk to Elder Servant. Fuck. My Lord Wartham. You should be pleased to know the preparations are well underway. If you are talking to me, you should address me. I see you have acquired an acceptable vessel for the time being. I shall arrange the, for the cradle immediately. I understand you are on my side, but if you continue to ignore me, it will be more painful for the both of us. Once you are fully restored, I shall take your orders directly once more. You. Until that time, I shall aid your vessel. Alright, surrogate fourth knight of the angelic emperor of Britannia, I am one of the many servants of Lord Waltham. Me and my kin are responsible for assisting our lord's assault on this citadel. There are many uh, a creature here who will serve you if we offer them a pact. I think it will be great for beneficial for both of you and my master if you found some of these creatures. Once you find one, come to me and I shall help you handle them. Help you handle them. Until then, I suggest you follow the Lord's order and head to Father Town further up. I'll keep that in mind, creature. And we can summon pets. Currently, we have no pet. Leaf. Um, whoa. Can I go down? Hello. Um. The gear connecting engine all the way. The gears connect the engine all the way up to the core. Whoa, drone room. Whoa. Words. I have no words. Oh, okay. Um, can I go? There we go. 
the dark tech reads white monster. Oh, so these are the backers that got into the game. Interesting. No. Okay, that hurts. That has hurties. Ah, come on. I know I can do it. Thank you. Why did I do that? Old Dark Souls habit. Always check for mimics. Old habits die hard, I guess. Let's see if the chest respawned. And... Yep, it's open. We got a Neath Stone. Alright. Let's head up. And go. Whoa. And no, I. It's confusing. Gears seem to lead downward in the darks below. Whatever is down there, it's dead silent. No, I want to go up there. And explore a bit more. Alright. Who or what are you? Talk to Bakach. Pay for blessings. To be estimated during Alexis. Okay, it's not in now. Ooh, 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 okay. Oh, how wondrous. Another struck by the blessed miracle of parasites. You... Are you a human? Or were you one? So even a knight, the great invader empire, is not free of superficial judgments? Yes, I was a human. Up until 743, when I became the host of 37 million parasites from a distant planet. Don't sell me a dog. That is funny, coming from you who carry another with within you. Not long ago, the parasite was but the most influential industrialist in history. But behold him now, scrambling to survive within the belly of a half-corpse knight. I would think the Knights of War have a deeper understanding of time and space, especially following the great feast that was performed but a year ago. One I heard you had at large part in. You are surprisingly knowledgeable for someone who lives on the Citadel. Word spreads fast on the Citadel, especially if of great feasts, like the one last year. It is the very reason our wise navigator decided to come here. You know the navigator? Why, of course. But worry not, I am on your side. I'd imagine everyone in this hall is. The navigator's rule has been questioned for decades now. I am, so I would expect many a citizen to side with your little parasite. Can you offer me any help in your current state? I host millions of parasites. Many an offspring of elders. I can channel their thoughts for you in the form of blessings. You sound like a horn smuggler. Think what you will will. My services are here. If you got the Vitae. Okay, bye. There's an incredibly foul stench coming from beyond here. It brings up primal memories of fear for some reason. Can't go in. Okay. Hello. Talk to Howard P. L. Hello, young Lovecraft. Trade Leaf Stone for Vitae. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. I, that was not added the last time I, did, I played it. Okay. So we can gain 15,000 Vitae for an ETH stone. Currently, we don't want to do that. Okay. Hello there, Knight of Four. My name is... Let's just say Howard. We have been awaiting your arrival for a while now. Do you require help? 
Are you being held here by that creature? What? By her? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. She is my friend and traveling companion. Not very talkative, though. This seems unnatural and definitely not safe for a child of your age. I will pretend I didn't hear that. I was at the Berelai Manor a year ago, you know. Wait, were you the one assisting the Queen? It was the both of us, and much like that time, we are open for business. If you got the Eth stones, that is. She is quite hungry, you know. How many creatures uh, feed on Vitae here? Many a kind can get by on Vitae. So, are you up for some business before you go out and face the advocate? You are very well informed. Alright, let's see what you can offer me. Just bring the youth stones and we'll be friends in no time. Leave. Uh, okay, I can get there. But I think there is someone... Yes. Buy spells? Okay, we can buy spells. Well, well, well. Do I sense the great trickster's presence lingering in your frail little body? I do not know what you are, but amongst humans a name comes first. Oh, how rude of me. I always forget the customs of primitives. I am Enra here, the great archmage among all Therians, and you do well to not question the higher races. <clears throat> sure, oh high and mighty paper floater. Apes are so irritating, but I suppose I will put up with your petty insults till your better half awakens. I am quite eager to hear how Waltham's little escapade concluded. From what I've seen, there was no clear victor. Be thankful I haven't cut you down right here and now for calling a knight of the Empire an ape. <sighs> Alright. I suppose I should be a bit more respectful. Not many humans manage to walk past. I walk the Prussian tundra and cut down a real flame holder. And now hosting a parasite like Waltham is impressive. I can't decide who is more resilient. You for surviving or him for managing to pull this off. Well, once Waltham is more awake, I'd love to have more, a more mature conversation with him about his encounter with a navigator. I suppose until such time I can offer you some spell in, in exchange for Vitae. If you have interest in more than just bronze. I'll think about it. I have my doubts about that. Okay, we leave. Wait, talk to Erhain? I thought his name was something different. Oh no. I will use the Grey Sword. I have not figured out combat quite well right now, but I think if I get max, okay, it's basically basically a shield, so if I keep invading, oh no, no no no, I know that guy, he killed me before, I will, I will not have any of this. Okay, so our only way is to go right. Let's do that. <laughs> 